Hey everyone, it's Gab. I stream on Twitch. You can find all the relevant links down below and I hope you all enjoy the video. All right, any last minute changes to the list? What do you think, Chad? Do you think it's gonna be full vamps? If it's full vamps, I should probably play a third edict in the main and a fourth sensor in the main. I think that would help a bit. <laughs> I could just play Phoenix and farm the Vamp players. Yeah, actually don't farm Vamp, it's close still. No blood out. No, I'm not going to put back cards in my deck. I refuse. I mean, League's deck dump and what people play in Pioneer, I think, is not... Necessarily, uh, how many channel points to make me play Siphon Insights? Blood of the Sky. It's not that bad. I will, I will admit, it's not like the worst card I've ever seen. Did I expect to be the only blue black control player? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think about it. Cling to dust. Aquatoz. Yeah, field of rain for Aquatoz. Art shouldn't be too scary. You know, like shark typhoons and field of runes and deadly cover up. I mean, obviously they can get you, but. What's my worst card against Vamp in game one? Dark Typhoon's not the greatest. Narset's not the greatest. Could move Narset to the sideboards. Could do this. Narset is a house. Mm. That, that mismatch to Deuce is really gonna bother me. I could go down to two cover-ups. I don't expect too much Phoenix. The cover-up's pretty good against Vamps. You know what, maybe I'll just stick to my guns and not change the list. Too much. Well, this sucks. I like open deck lists. No open deck lists make my life a little tough. Add the sack, hidden strings, fires. So they can be on anything. They could be on anything. Looks like, uh, I was going to say maybe Lotus, but that also makes sense. Amalia. Amalia makes sense. It's good against Vamps and it just good overall. Good in the meta, good, of it, good against Vamps. Do I like Pioneer more than Modern? Yeah, right now I'd rather play Pioneer than Modern, I think, if I had to pick one of the two. Unhinged? Oh, okay. It's quite the attack. I'll take it. Could be some kind of elaborate bait, but I doubt it. All right, a little late for any gates. They kept the free front up. Let's 
I guess I should have kept cover up over edict. Why is it unreasonable? That push? No, why does my hand censor shark freelance? Let's not give them a free explore. Who can find me the the Larson list? Crowdsourcing uh Google searches multiple silt saviors in the main. Damn. Okay. How difficult was it to resist the team calls played down? I mean, I definitely hesitated. But I was definitely not sure I was making the right choice. I think blue black's kind of the nuts, especially an open deck list. And before wiping, thank you. He didn't have two savers in the main, right, though? He had one and one, maybe? I guess saver makes sense, just good against enter removal. He did, all right. No return, no, four return to the ranks. Four return to company, four cord. You know which card I really like, though, is the knight. The knight, knight. Does he have knight in his sideboard? We can probably scoop them up, right? But we'll save your one of the mana triggers. Can I still win? I can do one now. How do you go about testing with your team when you choose a different deck than most of them? Good question. I occasionally bother them to play me a few matches. I play a few leagues on the sides. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of definitely a disadvantage. Because I don't want to, you know, especially when I'm playing a, a non, you know, if it's different if I'm playing blue white control, because that's pretty valuable for them. But obviously, Testing against blue black control is not very valuable. So yeah, no, it's 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 tricky. Was your team confident in blue black? Well, Brent was happy when he got thrown against me. He thought it would probably be a decent matchup for him, which it might be, might not. I I was I was like. I was feeling okay about it because I'd played the matchup. I'd, I'd lost the, the two matches I'd played in the house, but I thought I'd learn a few things and I was much rather get paired against them than I'd get paired against them. Um, regular Ragdos mid range. So they're going to have what? Selfless Savior, maybe Sentinel, maybe Fron. Some thought sees painful truth. How many basics? One planes, and that's it. Okay. How do you live with yourself not grinding Tameshi in modern? Is Tameshi broken? Did I miss something? Did I see the 60 card deck that won the 75k? I saw, yeah. I was, I was watching a bit the finals. I don't think he won Kling. I'm not sure about all the counters. I'm not sure about Edict. There's a lot of cards I'm not sure about. Some thoughts he's not the worst with JVP. I think maybe free negates is a lot. Maybe for a deli cover up. I'm gonna do one thought sees plays well with JVP. One typhoon can go out. Yeah, 
agree. Typhoon's decent. Typhoon's kind of nice with cover up though. It's not always trivial to have uh R2 Exile, of course to Exile. We're really not sure about these edicts. Edict against C Note Scouts. Lunar Veteran. You trim sensor deduce in any matchup. I don't think I've cut a deduce a single time at the PT now. And sensor, yes. Sensor on the draw against matchups that have a lot of cheap cards or against Phoenix, I trim. I don't think I ever trim a sensor on the play though. A wedding announcement in this sideboard? No. Maybe I'll just do a couple thoughtsies. Why no third wrath? Because I have selfless savior and I bring in two path and a meat hook. I don't think I need six sweepers, even though it's obviously pretty good against them. Uh, it's not a great hand, but don't think I should mull either. Did you say think twice? I think think twice would maybe be better. A lot of the time with their discard spell, they'll take the did use. And then you can self mail with the surveillance and stuff, but have you played any alchemy already last night? I still have one more shot for Seattle. What the uh, don't they all these tournaments qualify for Amsterdam? I do have one more shot for Seattle. Fatal push. Fatal push against selfless savior. It seemed that great. Nothing does though. Selfless savior just owns me. No, I know nothing about alchemy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Three cards in hands. I'm not sure how I get out of this mess. I'm at least hoping for like Shipwreck March. I've been on tap blue. I barely won at the PT and Sager is just really good against me. Doesn't help that my draws have been kind of mid. Their draws have been kind of great. On a window, though. Should be okay here. Discarded Walker and Amalia. <laughs> uh, anyone uh, massacring their meat hook in chat? Oh, let's me just push and path. Sorry, it's 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 bad. Chat's influence just bad on me.
That's just trying to summon Ma Mito Massacre to the top of my library. I honestly don't really know what's going on in this game. This game has been pretty weird. Also, I think I just punted. I've just cycled a shark for two here. I only had company at that one turn, but that was super loose. All I needed was a 2-2 two -two to kill that savior, and then I could have just cast a deduce or something. Uh... I think I should be okay. Seven. I played that game so loose. I played that game really poorly. For some reason, I decided they didn't have company in hand there, which was obviously not true. Maybe they just drew it for the turn. That's maybe possible. Hmm. I'll probably still be fine. Surely. JBP triggers a revolt, right? It does deadly cover up, right? Deadly cover up and push both savior targets. Is that the play? That's the play. PT best performer has to. I'm just, you know, double checking. I, I know how to read a card and I think I know what the cards do, but. What do you exile here? We know they have talking to my hand. I'm assuming this company is is the scariest card. Okay, they trimmed on company. Free return to com or that's the original way only oh no, yeah, okay. Trim they didn't trim core, they trim one return, they brought in painful truth. They didn't bring in the third savior, but they did. And then they have the Otsis. They have Thrum too. Don't want to take their combo pieces? Nah, the combo sucks. Did they board out Ether Flux? I didn't look. I think they boarded out. That makes sense. I have Field of Rune. It's hard to combo. I think their list is less scary than Brennan's list against me. Because they don't have... I think Knight Aaron of Eo is a pretty scary card against Path of Peril and stuff. And being able to hit that. They don't have Redain. They do have the free saviors. On a shot. Diggity dig.
negate and short maybe. New fanfic just dropped. You did it, White Fangs. I kind of I was thinking about maybe starting some starting to write a bit too. It could be fun. You got help from Chad GPT. Nice. Fanfic about my my chaps. No one hates per se. Just all an act. Are just too slow on the draw. They still have scouts in their deck, right? Man, I really don't have Edict in my deck in this matchup. Maybe cover up is just good against No Redain. And then do I want to negate over something? Maybe a riddle is too slow. Negate doesn't seem that great to me though. I think negate is just awkward. Because they don't have like a free mana spell I really want to counter. It's not like they have wedding announcement or a chariot or sorcery speed stuff. Edict. Monkey says, what's Nassif win Nassif's win condition? And Edict's so bad against friend, some of their stuff, but it is good against well. a combo. I mean, I this guess sometimes they just combo your price, probably. Maybe Edict's just fine. So high variance, I guess. What about... Should I do more Edicts? Alright, I'll do, I'll do that. Dalty's kind of nice, because they don't hit super hard. Not a bad looking hands. Hit lands, brutal. Wow. Dude, JDP is just so good. I just. I'm good on my thoughtsies. Push into JVP, Jover. On a shaman. Nice cards. It really was my best sideboard cards. It won me, it, it solos so many. I mean, maybe I would have won the games with another card instead, but it was, it made it so easy. Almost want to play a third, honestly. It's just so good to have it on turn two, and you can even loot the extra ones. All right, that being said, I could get combo next turn, technically. So let's not get too arrogant here. Field of Rune loot's not enough. I could pack my JVP away. That seems bad. Flip push, you just flip it like that. Say go. I'm just dead to combo. Yeah, I guess I should loot, right? You draft like a coward? You would. Why would you discard? Did you? Or deadly cover up? Is Spawn of Shaman a good card in Amalia? Team Handshake liked it and they did well. Are we going to risk it? I mean, I could lose to a value draw. You just get rid of Meat Hook. 
I'll get rid of the deuce. Oh, I'm going to cast Path now. I'm stupid. I'm not going to have the Path anymore. Almost oh, stupid. Alright, the worst JVP ever. Alright, maybe I don't want free JVPs. I should have discarded the deuce. I forgot I was going to have to cast a Path. And I won't have it in hand anymore. Another one. How did that work against Kalidas? I get the zombies, right? The last trigger dies and then I get the zombie to chomp. I deployed scattered groves. One scattered groves. That's some fine tuning right there. Did they want to play 21 lands? But they were worried that Flood was 22. Company on top is nice. Cover up shuffles to right. <laughs> Should I attack first? Just rap, stop being a hero. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I guess I don't have gear hulk in my deck anymore. Does it matter what I exile? Yeah, there's another one in the yard. I'm still mad about the JVP I had to kill. I did get both from Alan and Keeper. I didn't. Malgo's Walker on top, that's a brick. I'm not completely. You think they named the blue black dual sewers because of me? I doubt it. I mean, if they knew the lore of the stream, they would have named the white black land the sewers. Well, blue black works too. But yeah, I don't know why it was showing the innkeeper was the just visual bug, I guess. I tried to click them <laughs> just to see what happens. The bandits. Smart. Nice card. Deck you got too many sweepers. Do so, please. What the hell's I, I'm not sure I like all the random emotes that are getting added here. I might have to like. Do something about it. That that emote's terrible. What is it? And who's on that car? Who's on who's on it? What does it mean? I'm not sure I like it at all. Uh, let's get rid of I don't know, man. The scout. <laughs> the monkey emote is fine. What does it even mean, Jose? To fire dance? I don't know. 
Maybe I should save that in case I don't push. It does trip mine them. I don't know what strip mine does for me besides finning finning the deck. Probably better off just attacking for now. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're they're kind of dying fast. Yeah, I should not miss a hive attack. I forget I'm allowed to just win with combat damage. Just racing. Should have played more scattered groves, clearly. Is combat damage a crime? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, control as Garfield attended. One one creature land attack at a time. All right, I think it's pretty safe to just attack with everyone, right? Just negate and right in hand. Definitely a tougher matchup than it looks on paper. For sure. Not the greatest hand, but good enough. Especially if they're on like random aggressive deck, having push turn one into the deuce is nice. If they're playing Lotus Fields, hand is passable. Kind of a five card hand, but pretty likely to have a, a dead card in my opening hand, anyways. Hmm. Is that the proper deck when they play that always, or not necessarily? <clears throat> but there's prediction going on. It's a matchup I lost at the PT, the very tilting loss. I got one out on untap, taps for white. No, it's crying. Right. You got me. Let's see if it was bait or not. I mean, either way, it's never bait, even if they have Lotus when they get stage. It's still like something you want to counter. Mm. I'll tag the clue main in case I have thought sees. The blue green layers just place Triumph. One triumph for Dramoka, black spells, right? Okay, yeah. Most common version was charm, but I think. Okay. All right, I need, I need a field of rune would be nice here. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I can cling and cling our set right away. Okay, yes, this is good. One turn too late? Nah, I'm good. I should be good. It's hard for them to go up like this into our sets. Because they're Vizier on Cantrip, they're Port on Cantrip. I think I'm in a good spot here. They could have it. They could have. It would be a lot. They would need like. Strings, Ultimatum. How many untap effects do they need? You can tap for free blue, play stage. Copy Lotus, tap two blue up, I'll tap both Lotuses. So 
the Springs Ultimatum. Yeah, I could be in trouble. Hillary's another four year anniversary. Second one today. Thank you so much, Hillary's. Hope you keep enjoying the stream. Thanks for the support. Yeah, they can visit your full extra mana. They basically need double strings and pay off. Game one, actually. Botsies are negate. Botsies looks good. Let's me deluge. Oh, Botsies good with Delhi cover up. They can't do much about negate, right, in game one? It's better in the long run. It's nice with Gearhawk too. I have Riddle in the yard, but um, I think it's better if I find. Oh, do I want that lands? I do want to make my land drop. I really do want to make a land drop. So I could cycle Shark, but I really want to deluge too. If they let me. Okay, that's fine. No, thank you. I have some redraws to make the land drop, and then if I don't, don't draw land, it means I'm more likely to draw into Thoughtseize or another counter. Please slowly closing the door on, on them. Do I let them have it? Is there anything great they can get? Version they can get hidden strings. They could have like Dromoka in the main, I guess. Red Desert and Convoke instead of Sukenzan. What are your thoughts on it? Is that Ram Ramina Prince? He plays zero Sukenzan and Convoke. That seems weird, but uh, I don't know. Never played Convoke. Uh. I really don't want to counter this. Feels like almost like it's fate or something. Is Kirky's not on these days? Is he on vacation? He's not in my basement, I swear. Definitely not. Definitely not busy building my standard deck for the next road tour. Do you really think I did that blue light control myself? They didn't get help from Mr. Streamer. Oh, looks like they didn't know what they were doing for either. <laughs> Dicks Monday and Tuesday off. Nice. All these off is nice. They got Dramoka, maybe, yeah. They don't always play Dramoka in the main deck. Cast of this year. Hmm. Does it do anything if I cover up Delhi Dark Petition? Does anyone know if that stops them at all? Okay, no. Can cycle a shark for zero. I mean, I can just sack the clue. This is one more card. Play land. Two for shark, two for dig, one for push. This pass. I'm worried about Dramoka. I'm all worried about Dromoka. Eat it? Well, not if they go off. Let's see what this, I guess. It's pretty unlikely that they can have Dromoka and go off. I guess they don't need that much. They just strings and an ultimatum. Maybe they tutor auto war for an R set. Could be. They could just not have Dromoka in the main deck. 
could just like not have anything weird. Um, search a library for a creature or land cards. We got a layer. Hmm. Not remote main. Probably not. Just let them have it, right? I think you just let them have it. They don't have scary instance, just the one charm. I did like playing a Privator. How should I treat my first trip going overseas to play an RC? It's pretty, pretty white question. Pretty. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if they cast Charm or not in response. Does Charm shoot blockers? I don't think so. How come you're going overseas to play an RC? Sounds like a long trip for an RC. Maybe if you live on an island, I guess. Earth. I mean, the more prepared you are, The better you know your deck, it's just fair wishes. Could probably counter that hidden strings. Eight mana. Or just counter the fair wishes. I'll let them have it, I guess. I think countering the fae is good. I think I countered the first charm to infer I don't think I fear Dramoka at this point in the game because I'm going to get to dig. Might get Narset's reversal here. It might be dead to cover up on Fear of Wishes. Hard to know for sure. Unlikely. Negate another field of room. Ages gear hulk. Double field. Yeah, I've seen lights was two basic forest. My first open and at the PT had two basic forest. Oh, looks like the Odysseys are hiding. I don't think Edict does anything for me, so I guess I'll just stick the deuce. All right, Edict, JVP, Reversal, Dispute, Go Blank. I don't bring it Shark because I don't want to have to tap out. I think that's mostly just board out all the sweepers, even though they might have creatures and stuff. Could maybe have four Edict between main and sideboards. It'd be kind of nice for this matchup. I could keep in a Fatal Push or a Deadly Cover-Up. Sometimes I could Gear Hulk too. 
Hmm. Oh, sketch. Hmm. Ça, c'est pas mal. My new bottom, though. Sensor, probably. I they played Lair before Vasejo. Interesting. Should have bought him a land clearly. I could have bought him a land, honestly, between Sensor and Deduce and the draw steps. I didn't think about it, but I think it was a mistake. So they can keep Proctor and yeah, if I had Sensor here, I just win. No, they can just keep Proctor and Lotus. Sucks. That's that was probably a bit bad. Posture check. Oh man, stupid mistake. Not let them pick the rest. Discard Vizier and Ottawara. Yep, just bounce the Hydra, I guess. No, oh, it's just too bad. What are they repping? Oh, just another stage. That was an interesting draw. Maybe even a good one. Oh, we still know about Odd Aura. Nice. I think I should be okay this game. I think I'm gonna be just fine. They're not using Auto Aura. They're not getting for the kill. No, they discarded Auto Aura. I think they were not supposed to copy their lair while well, they could. Um, 
All right, let's try not to die with a bunch of cards in hand. Oh, also Proctor's goodie. Oh, we forgot Proctor stops here, Hall. <laughs> that has been awkward. All right, I think I win at this point. Just playing around Narset's reversal, even though they probably would have just used it there if they have it. So I lost at the PT. PTSD. They need like Gramoka into Ultimatum or Gramoka into Chandra to win. So I do kind of want to try and kill them fast. I don't think there's a great way for me to be 100% at any point, but okay, good enough. Find the Gust. Do you think I should have one Gust in my sideboards? Well, good to have you back, G Champs. Phoenix, indeed. Sorry, uh, sorry, life is tough right now. Still got it. Seven no to draft. Hard to go wrong was drafting the new sets. Always fun. Guaranteed good time. I'm going to wait one turn for Thoughtseize. And I'm going to negate if they free to Fey. If they had free to Fey, they probably would have main faced it, but... Take a Phoenix. That command's actually pretty good for them. Their hand's that. Yeah, Pierce. Maybe I just have to take the spell Pierce? Wait, how does that all work? Take the Prancer, counter the command. They can untap and take Treasure Cruise. And Treasure Cruise if they draw a land or a cantrip. I could take the treasure cruise. If I take the spell pierce and they cast command and account. I think I just take the treasure cruise. I don't have prankster. I think I want to negate that for sure. You're so this leader free. How's your channel point uh, stash? No one's reading one eight hundred gab besides white fangs. Kind of surprised. Hey, they pranked. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, whammy. Ask a gambler has their savings going insensitive. Oops. Not even a Phoenix. That's really unlucky. What is it? One eight hundred Gab. You get to hop on a Discord call with me during the stream for like you know five, ten, fifteen minutes, maybe more. Depends like how things are going. Hey, Heart Sai, you're welcome. Welcome to the chat. Glad you found the stream. Glad you're enjoying the deck. Let's 
So that's spell pierce. My riddle still has a little value, but I think I'm just better off um, using it here and pushing pushing the issue. Why haven't they hard cast Phoenix yet? I wonder if they were trying to play around Delhi cover up. So stupid out in our set. Yeah, actually it's not that bad. Their hand does nothing now, right? Consider spell pierce Phoenix. Oh, I have five mana. Right, right, right. Consider spell pierce Phoenix. Hard cast Phoenix. No, no, okay, I didn't I didn't mess up. As a plan all along. Let them have cruise and plane our set. Yeah, I could have just taken the consider. That would have been a pretty, pretty interesting play, I think. That would have been a cool play. Take the consider there. Probably what I should have done. Okay, they've been a steam vents, they've been a treasure cruise. I think it's hard for me to lose if I don't down take here. They could have a removal spell for my 2 2 Shark and then Hardcast Phoenix. I can censor Hardcast Phoenix, actually. Do we need to have removal spell plus untap land? I think that's blocking the transfer. It's nice. I'll probably just censor the Phoenix here if they play it. They're playing so conservatively. Not sure what their plan is. I'm just going to secure the cover up. Almost impossible for me to lose from this point. They've drawn really bad. Mm -hmm. They got lucky on that pranks, I guess. Did, did they draw bad or did my deck make them look bad? He's doubling down, is he? Hmm. Um... I I don't know. If you take the incident isolated, I thought it was kind of bad the way that people pile on him. I didn't think he deserved that. I hate it when people do that. Like, really, really hate it. I think it's really bad. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's tough. Like, then there was that Ponder video, there was the fact, like, some other stories. Also, Jim was playing for something. I mean, if it's true that he's all scooped many times to other people and stuff, you know? I don't know. It was, like, all... Everything you hate about Magic Twitter just... The extremes and people piling on and no nuance and not even really know the whole story. I, I don't know. It's it's not great. But how do I? How did I cycle last time on the draw against Phoenix? This is like the anti hearse sideboards. A lot of lists have two hearse in the sideboard. I didn't have the second JVP. I think maybe I even cut Kling. Oh, the sensors, right. Oh, I bring in the sea sharks too. Oh yeah, I just got all the sensors. I don't need second cover up. It's 
kind of a combo in some ways with your creatures. I'm going to try two JVP. And I guess I'll only do two edicts. I always thought Kelly this was bad to board in. I did too, but I've been I'm it's just like I think it plays out okay the way they sideboards. They don't keep a ton of removal. Like basically, if you know for a fact if you know for a fact they don't have Hearse in their deck, I would sideboard way differently. But I've been trying that sideboard plan. Like that that was my sideboard plan against people with two hearse in their sideboards. Basically. I mean, his or his original tweet was bad. I think we all can agree. It was bad on many levels. It was bad on pretty much every level. Hey, two champ, appreciate that. Welcome back. Gonna get pierced. Might not get pierced. Pierce gonna be good either way. Which counter should I use? The one that counters Crack and Drake. Ooh, and some bad stamp. I got a meeting in a few minutes. Take these meaningless internet points to entertain yourselves before I get back. Thanks for the 63 G Cham and thanks for the 200 bits. Any links to first tweet? It got deleted, but basically he complained he got so the story is he was 9-6 in the last round of the PT. He got paired against Jim Davis. He thought Jim didn't need the win that he was already queued. It turned out Jim actually, you know, the win. The win also it's meaningful because of worlds. You know, every win matters for, for everyone really. Uh, Jim then scooped to him, which meant that Mark fell off the train, and you know, now he has to go back through, you know, the step step one to qualify. So he like ran it, he said like in his tweet that so you know there was like entitlement that people should scoop to him. Um plus he was just wrong about Jim not needing the win for anything. And you know, it was just a really bad look. But then like literally all of Magic Twitter piled on and I and then there was like Yeah, I don't know, it was just Like, you really have to be the 20th person to, like, reply to his tweet and calling him a, you know, it's, like, just awful. I had more going on. I would cast my Deluge. I think I'll wait at least a turn. See what happens. I don't think I don't think he deserved the amount of hate he got. If it wasn't for the ponder video, I would feel really bad for him. The ponder thing, like if he's actually like he actually cheats and stuff, then I have very little sympathy. I mean, I think it's okay for people to call out. I I I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe you should like. I don't even know. I don't know when the ponder video is from. Honor was from three years ago. Yeah, not that long ago. Wait, what? Oh! I mean, I guess I do have diligence in the yards. 
I mean, imagine if I don't feel love rooms this game, did we did three basic islands the one time. Could be a mistake, could be a big mistake. Oh, candle. The piling on is a little much, but he really did not need to tweet that out. This is what oh, this one's on him. But I have a Phoenix. Did I pay my JVP? It's not super valuable. Not sure how valuable bouncing a Phoenix might be. Plus, I have a Deluge I can cast next turn. Oh, maybe they were playing for 9-7 and he just needed, he was like one match short of requalifying. It's possible. Okay, what should I do? All right, I'm just going to let it die. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I guess the fact that he's doubling down, maybe I shouldn't feel so bad for him. Have you ever tried the Android Netrunner, the card game? Played Netrunner. I don't know what Android Netrunner is. Hey, Destranium, thank you. I was, I was very happy with my deck choice and pretty happy with how I played. I think I, I think I could have won the both matches I lost. I could have obviously lost matches I won by getting a little unlucky. But deck was excellent. I did not get any draws. I agree it's okay to get emotional and say stupid things, but posting it on social media is something else. And doubling down when it's pretty clear, you know, your take was bad is also something else. I lost connection, by the way, if anyone was wondering. Yeah, this is pretty impressive. <laughs> I mean, he could be explaining the state of mind he was in, you know. When he tweeted at the time, he thought, like, the wind didn't matter much to, to Jim. I'm trying to find a devil's advocate over here. What would you do, chat, if you were me? Playing the last round of the PT, I'm 9 and 6. I get paired against my new teammate, Theodore Young. He's 9 and 6. 10 and 6 requalifies in for the next Pro Tour. And I'm already qualified for a bunch, but that extra win could be the difference between me qualifying for Wars or not. You never know. Would you scoop or would you play? I like him. We know we're not super good friends. I mean, I barely met him. I just met him, but he was he's a nice guy and he was a good teammate. Edgar, you would scoop? No, I know I have no obligation. I'm just curious what, you know, where people's line is. How likely it is to affect worlds? I have no idea. I'm already queued for all the PTs this year. And I don't know how the system works. I don't know how I win at this PT affects next year's PTs, but it definitely could affect Worlds because you can qualify to Worlds just by doing, you know, like if I go 10 6, 9 7, 10 6 at the three PTs, that's probably good enough for Worlds. Never scoop. It's like letting someone cut your lines cruise over the next guy. Well, in this case, it doesn't really, though. I mean, to some extent, it makes the PT harder for everyone else. It says, sorry, our entire development lost power. Yeah, it's not, it's not zero sum. 100% I would scoot to my teammate here, yeah. I was really hoping I wouldn't get paired against... Uh... I probably would have scooped. Like, I almost wanted to scoop to, like, a random... Wait, I've never met before. They look so disappointing, you know. I mean, I'm assuming they need the Q for. Uh, they look so disappointed. 
I think I just stick a beating here. I don't think I don't think crackling Drake is is reasonable. Just lose less line, lose less fast line. On top land to play around the axe. They already have one or two in the bin. I think his on tap land is valuable down the line. I guess I could have shocked. Right, it looks like I probably win. Looks like they bricked on their Phoenix and stuff. The Ponder thing? Yeah, it's it's on camera. I think it's just fine cover up of the illusion. Oh, they have two phoenixes. Hmm. Are they at place? I went 10 6, top 64, I guess. Oh, I boarded out a bunch of cover-ups, right? I'm an idiot. Yeah, I boarded out two cover-ups. Maybe I shouldn't. Especially if they're playing the GLS. Hmm. How do I get out of this mess? Mark, maybe? How much mana do I have? Six? Just trying to find my one cover up, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I kind of played that game where I had a bunch of cover ups in my deck still. That's kind of dumb. Really, that's what kind of bad there. Should probably assume they're playing Gia's list and just Gia didn't have a hearse. No, that's not true yet for Smart in game one. It's not Diplo's list. Oh, I still need it. I think I should have at least uh, speeded that prankster. All right, I get five more looks at my at my one cover up. Hi, yeah. Okay, so you're saying they're saying there's a chance. Any time now. Do I get to see their hand if I bot sees? Or do I die before? I do? Okay. I wanna see if they have uh I wanna see what they have. Young power in the gate. So we saw most of their deck, we didn't see a hearse. 
Man, where the hell was that cover up? Okay, Otzi's out, sensor in, thing cover up. No need for the Kalidas nonsense. Dick can come back. Maybe even Riddle. Edict, I don't think you need on the play as much. Okay, let's see. JVP, we still act. In super smart commands. He took no. This riddle can go. Already board out cover up. Because it's not very good against hearse. Seed is medium. No, I think seed's pretty good. Oh, because it kept axe. All right, yeah, just cover up. Just cover up Gamer against someone who didn't show hers. I like it. Let's cover up the biggest reason for blue-black over blue-white. Uh, I think it's a whole. I don't think there's one, one card in particular. All the black cards are just extremely good. The other play turned to hers. Could keep in some thoughtsies. It's all sus to like trim on so many thoughtsies and edicts. Not have too many answers to the turn to play. That's a pretty great hand though. Oh. Did you try the Jessica Yurion creativity deck? My teammates tried it. We didn't like we didn't like any of these Jeskai decks. I think so even five vote was a Jeskai deck elite, but all right, could get rid of Basic Island. Could probably get rid of Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon's nice against Young Pyro. All right. Oh, hello. I don't have much to discard right now. I'm trying to think what plays better against a counter. It's just seeing go. That's an interesting draw. Maybe I should wait one turn for Go Blank. Like Go Blank, they're probably gonna keep like cracking Drake. Could backfire. Four cards, play the land, play something, get it countered. I guess I should do this first. Another counter? Don't want another counter. How did he get down to one card in hand, realistically? I mean, they might just be able to bring back a Phoenix if I don't do it now. Yeah, I agree on that plan, Drake's not very likely. Can I just dispute Phoenix? I was thinking more they could just cast a bunch of cantrips and bring him back. Discarded Shredder and Prankster. Oh, if they discarded Prankster, that probably means they did keep crackling Drake and didn't quite get there. 
Or maybe they kept a Phoenix. I oh, didn't keep Phoenix over Prankster. What did they keep? Negate? Over Prankster? It's kind of sus. Wouldn't to cast Go Black against Phoenix? Not really, I mean, every spot's different. Usually the sooner the better, in my experience. Uh, I'm not sure how valuable the damage is. Should I play around Spell plus Spell Pierce? Spell plus Dispute? Damage could add up. These games are usually not a race. Yeah, I guess the exile card makes them makes it harder for them to uh to cruise plus counter. It's not nothing. Yeah, true, true. What made you guys want to play Copter over Gangbuster and Vamp? It's just not a very good Gangbuster deck because you've got Thorin that doesn't crew it, Fable that doesn't crew it, just let you recycle dead cards. You're more aggressive, you want to be more aggressive against Blue White than play the very long game. Hmm. Not sure how much they tried Gangbuster in that deck, to be honest, but. I mean, every odd gets them closer to a Crackling Drake. I honestly don't hate negating that. What am I going to negate? How many hard counters are gone? I'm going to negate and negate. Again, my negate gets disputed. That'd be not a good scenario for me. How many disputes gone? Kind of looks like a dispute in hand, too. I think I'm just gonna lose this game to Crackling Drake. They topped, and not at Free to Fay. For sure, they have a counter. Damn it. Whatever, I'll use it on my turn. What just happened? People do that stuff all the time. That's my last card in hand. Oh, they want to cast a treasure cruise. Oh. Well, I guess my negate was still the right play. Dig! Damn it. I do have Fable. But it's one large shark. Yeah, it is a card. Should I have just played my land so it was an 8-8? I didn't even realize. I guess I have 5 too. 8-8 makes it out of range of Axe plus Shaman. I guess I have one block. Hmm. Kind of sucks if I play Auto War, I'm repping exactly Shark Typhoon. Very, very sus. But they're low on time, they might not think about everything I could have. Hopefully they don't have their own Auto War all. Who do you block here? Just block Young Pyro or block a 1-1? I have it. 
Okay. Damn, the flood is real. How many islands gone? Not only did I flood, but I didn't draw a single dig or memory deluge. And only one did use. I just drew like all the one for ones. A tilting. Also, I love game two because I sideworded like an idiot. I don't know if I should assume hers. Should sideboard normally. Dude, I got so unlucky. Man, and I keep mulliganing to what do you even bottom here? I don't want to never play Spineer. Scam Merktides. Spriculum. Questionable. What would you bottom chats? Maybe dig. No, I didn't even know Malort was a thing. Is it good? Hmm. That's like heroic, I guess, played that card. No, they played a shelter. Oh, angels? Oh. Look at my chances against angels, I guess. Point of my lord is that it's bad. Angels is a freebie. Mm, probably. I thought about just cycling sensor, cycling shark type here in last turn. I don't think it's unreasonable. I think censoring Valkyrie probably buys me a lot of time, but if like you censor Valkyrie and then break and then they just have company, feels kind of bad. I guess all the cards I needed last game. We found them. What did you miss? The very tilting loss. I had to get extremely unlucky. How else would I ever lose? Kind of my stuff. Uh, what am I doing? I guess it's fine. I can just exile the memory deluge. Is it worth it? Start exiling their stuff. Do they have like less good hits? Probably worth it, right? Which one lets them pop up more? Valkyrie or Resplendent? 
Valkyrie just makes their creature bigger. I don't care about that. That gives them more creature. I also don't care about that. How many Overseers do they play? Maybe it's my hand is just Overseer if they play four. Whatever. I guess I'll do Valkyrie first. People want me to do Valkyrie. Okay, let's take a look at their lists. And they only play one of the two on four resplendent, four Valkyrie, four company, four reconstructions. Valkyrie is how you die to a surprise company. All right, that's a good point. And then now I'm just going to get Kayla. So we get two one ones here. What's their hand? Skyclave and and land Skyclave. Do I care? I just say go here. They have mites. I'll just do that again. Do we see any caverns? I don't think so. I don't think you can play cavern in your reconstruction. Uh, I mean, I guess you're playing Radiant Fountain, so you probably could actually. But you have company in reconstruction. I love fresh promo. Is that the new one? Does that link even work? Because I start. I only start tomorrow. Or no, I start in two days. It works nice. Well, it's for the US only. I had the choice between France and US, and I was like, well, US way, makes way more sense. I think the last time I did it, it was France. What do you think of Keurig of Fires? If Blue Lights Control stops seeing play, I don't know what Keurig of Fire is good in that against, really. Well, I, I kind of know, but. Karuga Fires. I mean, if Blue White's your worst matchup and the other matchups are good, then sure, why not? Wait, they had a creature left in hand? They had a card left in hand? Yeah, where did that come from? Just me exiling cards from my graveyard was good enough. <laughs> they saw the big coming. That matchup looks actually unlosable. Uh, how do I lose? How do I lose? A path of perils kind of sucks. A go blank is greedy. 
or shark too many. Could have that one mana green enchantment, but I only have a few cards for it. Is Narset necessary? I think it's pretty good. It digs deep, it forces them to attack it, and if they ever have the the green enchantment, it's good against that too. I guess change can be a tiny bit awkward. And then drawing too many thoughtsies. Maybe off by the dig. Maybe Meat Hook is awkward as a sweeper. Is Path Goods? I have too many sweepers. Well, I wouldn't say Path's terrible. They have a lot of cheap creatures. Scrow, Kiana, Bishop, Valkyrie. Oh, I guess I'll lose is like Planeswalkers, probably. Five mana planes. They play the, they play the green Planeswalkers. I'm eating for the Planeswalkers, though. You guys gonna beat down me with Skrull? <laughs> Congrats on a great performance in Chicago. Hey Celtics banner, thank you. Not quite great enough, but good finish. Thanks for the resub. The Bulls were playing the Celtics during the the PT week. Some of the Magic players went to see that game. I think the Bulls just got demolished. Salut Aram. Donc ça t'a fait plaisir. Toujours cool. This is only to cast creatures, obviously, right? Angel. This is how they can win, like, turn four, end of turn company into Planeswalker or something like that. Obviously, I could stumble, too. Damn. I'm going to counter because I just don't have much going on right now. Don't negate for a big spell. Just don't want to take too much damage and die before I draw a sweeper. Yeah, I think again, like said, like the the like fifth best player on the Celtics is better than the best player on the Bulls or something, <laughs> something along these lines. Doesn't seem like the Bulls are at their peak right now. Let's go, eh? They're like, nothing, nothing to see here. No land drop, no spell, just go. This is where they want five minutes. I pass XT. <laughs> I pass, I got nothing. Oh, it's useful, Valkyrie? Blind. Thought it was the 2-4 for some reason. I mean, I would have changed my play, but, yeah. I'm in trouble, huh? Uh, I guess I played JVP here. Chum block was a shark. Trying to find a sweeper. Oh, that was the play double hard cast. Yeah, maybe. Oh, fish. 
Go ahead and hit push redraw. So I don't have to get lucky. I'm going to lose to Angel. Wait, it didn't pump? Got to eat it twice. And then chump. Second company, it looks like it, right? How do I beat a company? I mean, either way, I don't need a company. What is the geo line today? It was 23.5. Yeah, we died. Guardian of Faith. Oh, we found the one card we can beat. Okay. What about JVP main boards? Well, it's better after sideboard when people don't have fiery impulse and fatal push in their deck. That's the whole point. This should probably go at JVP. Yeah. Smart. Mm hmm. <gasps> I kept my black man up. Oh man. <laughs> Oops. That's that I see. I was gonna go down to one. I had the hall. <laughs> oh. Man, I don't think I need meat hook. I could go blank and thoughts he's on the play. Just want to make my land drops. Yeah, I could do meat hook. Okay. Can I see one cover up? Two games? Draw 25? I think I'm just supposed to keep this. What's up, Zerch? Hey, I never claimed that was Hall of Fame at tapping my man, okay. Nice, not a Giada. You'll love to see it. I mean, I guess I'll keep questionable. Am I muted? I don't know, can you hear that incredible uh, water pour? Redane? Hateful. I'm at 14. Hmm. 
Hmm. So if I kill the Valkyrie, I'm only really worried about a Planeswalker. I have the good company into Redain. I say go... What would you do here? All right, let's break it down. If I push the Planeswalker, I kind of lose. If I say go, can I get in a bad spot, really? Can I take two hits, maybe even? I'll just say go. Kind of Planeswalkers, usually a five mana one, one of the Vivians or Nissas. Pushed later. Does Angel play any Planeswalker? I think so. I think they should at least. It's like their best shot at beating control. Yeah. That's a pretty good draw. They need to play it right away though. Does this probably make you want to go to Fort Deadly? It's not a bad idea, main deck. You see a lot of cards, though. A lot of cards. So do you have to sell them? Let's see if I say. All right, I think we got them, though, but we'll see. Wait, they just kill me now. They have another angel. No. And you'll tell 10 damage on its own. Which one first? <clears throat> Is Valkyrie? Four bishops for a company. Oh, they have Guardian of Faith. That's their sideboard tech. Totally forgot we saw that in game two, and I totally didn't play around that card at all. Yeah, I, pr I probably just butchered that game, honestly. Um. Yeah, I totally butchered that game, I'm sure. Totally not playing around Guardian the entire time. I just had one Guardian this game. I, would, yeah, I played I played awful for sure. I should have just shot everything on site and killed as many creatures as I could. Oh well. No way was it. Other creatures, right? Okay. Okay, that's that's good for me. I can just cover up and uh, not have to worry about Guardian anymore. Yeah, I guess against Guardian, I need I need all the Thoughtseize. Against Guardian, I'm not too sure. Thoughtseize, maybe even go blank. What do you cut though? All my cards are good. All right, chat, gotta run. Is already pretty late, but hope everyone enjoyed the stream. 
I'll be on the uh, probably.